Welcome to TruePokerDealer.com. I'm Mark Shumsker. And right now I'm going to show you how to count the stub in Texas Hold'em. Hey, just look at this guy. This is me eight years ago. I have a bunch of footage like this and I want to let you hear what he has to say in a second. But I just want to say how appreciative I am of what True Poker Dealer ended up becoming and how it became a staple of the poker industry. Dealer schools use it all the time. People teach themselves how to deal poker off of my content every single day and I just I feel so appreciative of that and so many people have asked me to create a course that eventually I had to do it and now I've done it there's about 40 hours worth of info on how to deal Texas Hold'em that you can get access to now if you just go and you click the the join button down below um, on my channel it's much less expensive like like a five percent of the cost of a dealer school but I also don't train you okay so you have to know yourself if you want to go and do this. But um, my course is there, and anybody can learn the info. It's a very casual course, all right? I'm, I'm chatting with people in live streams and stuff like that, but I go over all the content. So I put it together for all of you. Um, you know, just go check it out. You don't have to buy it. Just go check it out, see what it's like. I think you'll like it. This is something that's for game protection. It's very important that at least one time during a down with no shuffle machines that count the stub for you, you verify that there are 52 cards remaining in the deck. You verify that nothing disappeared in any way. And the way that you do that, by the way, this is the stub right here. This is what's left after you started pitching out cards. So let's, let's just take a look at it. I have 10 players dealt in. It's a common number of players to be dealt in in Texas Hold'em. That's 2 times 10 is 20 cards already out there. This is again us figuring how to count the stub at the end of the hand. You do it at the end of the hand. Now, in a typical Texas Hold'em hand that goes to the river, which generally you're going to do it after the river while people are betting on the river, you've got three burn cards and five community cards. So 20 plus 8 is 28 cards, and 52 minus 28 is 24 cards that should be right here in the stub. And here's what we're going to do. Again, this is while the action's going on. Usually you want to do this in one of your first few hands at the table because you don't really don't want to find out that you have too few cards later at your down. A down, by the way, is a 30-minute section usually of a dealer dealing where they deal their down and they get up and someone else deals it down. So here's how it looks. You're just going to take the cards off the deck and drop them in eight counts. 24 cards is three eight counts. It makes it easier for you if you get distracted to keep track of where you were. That's another eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I said it out loud that time. You don't want to say it out loud at the table. Players don't really want to hear that. It's distracting, especially if there's action going on. And right there, I've counted my stub. Now, what if a couple of situations come up? What if you've got nine players at the table? Well, if you've got nine players at the table, that means that you have two cards in addition to that three counts of eight. So you would go eight, 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 and have two left over, and that would mean that you were good. Same thing if there was another player dealt out. If you only had eight people in, well, then you'd have four left over. What if you had ten players in, and you really just needed to count the stub because you forgot to, and it's your last hand of the down, and you need to do it for your game protection, and you didn't get all the way to the river? Say that it got to the turn and everybody folded except one player. You push them the pot and then right here you would count the stub and you would just add the burn card and you would add the river for two more cards so there'd be two left over there. And that's really all there is to it. You're just verifying that there are 52 cards in the deck and that everything is the way that it should be. This is TruePokerDealer.com. I'm Mark Shumsker and that was how to count a stub in Texas Hold'em.